Mela. 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 Mates. <clears throat> Mates. Hey, welcome back to Mellow Mates. I'm your host, Sean Wayne. Joined here with my co-host over here to the left of me, which is the right of me, uh, Rocky. Are we doing this again? (laughs) (laughs) Singapore. (laughs) Oh, here we go. Today we have a special guest for you guys. His name is Ebon Musk. Uh, Ebon, I don't know if you want me to tell your real name or just use Ebon because that's like your call symbol. I don't know. I mean, I don't really care. Well, uh, we are joined today with Ebon because I forgot his real name. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Anyway, Ebon, he, we, Ebon plays a bunch of games with us. He does. We actually met Ebon uh, in the in a you randomly joined our five M server, correct? Yes. Yes. And he has been one of our good gamer friends ever since because he lives in Philadelphia, I think. Not even close. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> he in lives nowhere. in Alaska. Is it? Is it? It's close to New York, right? No. no. Is it not? No, it's in the middle of nowhere. What's close to New York? Uh, I would uh, say. Nevada. I would say it's about. Three years or three years, three, three hours. Three years from New York. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he lives up north where it's salty and snowy all the time. And uh, but anyway, he is he's became one of our good friends. He sits in my Discord and waits till we jump in to play games with us. He's a very loyal gamer. For the most some part, of us, here. some of us jump in your in your Discord and wait till you get back from the park store. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Uh, they had to run to the parts store For before hours. we started this podcast, and what they had to wait on you, me. What do you have to go to the parts store for? What's going on? Uh, my truck has uh, has a slight misfire, and uh, I'm not sure why. Um, I think we just put a good distributor cap and rotor button on it. I think it may have eaten the distributor cap again. So I'm going to warranty those out. Just go ahead and change them out while I'm there and put new wires and plugs in it. That, it's got auto lights in it. And if I'm not mistaken, that's what the 350s come with is auto lights, correct? It, from, the, from the factory? Uh, I, I can't confirm that. Not sure. Can't confirm nor deny, but Cannot confirm nor deny. it does have auto lights in it. So I'm pretty sure they look pretty old. So I'm going to swap them out and see if it can't fix it. Also got a transmission issue where she shifts out of full drive, so I got to fix that. Ebon, you having some car trouble too, aren't you? Shifts out of yeah, over. mine's clapped up. Yeah, so like it stays like when it warms up, it shifts out of overdrive and into fourth gear, and it stays in fourth gear the entire drive, like down one fifty seven. So it's just, just, just 2,500 RPM just screaming. Yes. So I have to, I have to <laughs> yeah, I have to slow down to like 60 because it usually runs 70 down 157. So I have to slow down to like 60 mile an hour and then that allows it to, you know, not be at 2,500 RPMs <laughs> like using all that <laughs> fuel. <laughs> it allows it to like, you know, be settled down a little bit. But yeah, it is. You have I have eighteen wheeler just blowing by me, just blowing the doors off of me. Yeah, I'll leave. Yeah, but other than that, uh, the truck's been damn good for for the most part. Ebon, what did you say you that was wrong with your car? I know you had some car trouble or something like that. Uh, the rockers are about shot. Oh yeah, like, yeah, and then there's like a hole in the like the floor, so it's not a bad fix, but. You could, worth it? you could self tap some uh you could self tap some uh old metal tags down there, you know. That's yeah. from the then, salt on the roads, right? Oh yeah, for sure. And it, this car was uh from the Minnesota like from Minnesota, so that's even yeah. worse. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it bad bad down there? Mm, not right now. It's not even snowed. 
Really? Like it's probably maybe a centimeter in the in the past two months. Like where I'm living. Yeah. I've always we living down here in Alabama, we barely get snow. Do you guys use the metric system up there? No. <laughs> <laughs> um you're so stupid (laughs) Uh, down here in alabama we barely get snow like we just it just doesn't happen and when it does you know it's like uh oh dude it shuts it down yeah 100 percent. it'll shut the roads down because nobody knows how to drive in snow down here yeah no one understands it and like it doesn't even have to be like it could just snow down and not even stick, and then people would just be like running off the road, hitting trees, hitting yeah, signs. It's it's That's the most crazy. it's the most ridiculous thing. We'll have James Spann, you know, you know, up on the television. Stay home, don't die. Shirt off, James. Spann. Yeah, you will die. Yeah. Stay home. And that's James Spann. When he tells you that's going to happen, you need to stay home. He's like one of the yeah. most famous influencers of our time here in Alabama. <laughs> oh, and then, like, if, if he starts undoing the buttons on that shirt, everyone's oh. going to the store and buying bread and milk. It's like the hub, baby. We're there. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, won't, you won't get bread, milk, or toilet paper for, like, two weeks. That shirt's got to come off of James Payne. Because <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's an, an apot, apocalypse. What do you call it? Apocalyptic? Yeah. It's, it's, You're so stupid. It's the, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like he'll he'll you know obviously you know obviously he'll get on there and he'll be like yeah don't drive because it's gonna be slick, you know Alabama's gonna be slick this morning and everybody gets out and drives they're like I ain't no pushy I'll get to work and now jump in a car you know and take off and then they're sliding over the road and they're like I don't know what happened <laughs> and they're just stuck in a ditch for two days while the snow dries up. So it it froze here one year and. Robert was driving his IS-300, and we all talked him into, like, getting out, and we were, like, drifting it back and forth on the frozen road, turning around, doing, like, reverse, you know, banging the rev limiter or whatever you call that. J-turn? Um, it was kind of like we were driving straight, and then he would just, like, cut the wheels and give it full throttle, and it would come around, and he would just stay full throttle until it stopped and then started going back the direction we were coming. Oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is, probably. Um, Transmission issues. That's what I would. Do. <laughs> <laughs> how, to, how to lose a rear diff one yeah. on one. Um, but we were doing that, and I had the genius idea. I was like, "Hey, roll the window down, and I'm gonna get out of the car and hold on to the window." So we're like riding down the road, and I'm just like skiing on my feet on the frozen road. And um, I had a my pistol like in the my, the back of my waistband, and I ended up like he stopped or turned or something, and I slid down and landed on my pistol. And I had like a Ruger imprint in my lower back for like the, the next day. There was another guy. Um, he drove his girlfriend's Mercedes up there. And he was like, look, I'll make you a deal. If you can figure out how to crank it, I'll let you take it out and, and drift it on the ice or whatever. So I was like, bet. They get in there and I'm like fidgeting around and like everyone's standing around the car and they're like, what's you going to figure it out? <laughs> Isn't it? But I ended up, I don't remember what it, like what the trick to it was, but I ended up figuring it out. And like, so we pull out of the driveway and it goes down the hill to the main road. So I'm driving the car down the hill and like, I go ahead and start turning it, giving it some gas. The car like slides sideways and I'm in the main road sideways. And I'm like, y'all might, I might just go off in the ditch. <laughs> so it like finishes coming around and the back tires drop off in the ditch and I'm just like on the red line like go 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 back up back up back up <laughs> goes back up on the main road I took it back up to the driveway and like parked it and got out and he was like are you done? I was like oh yeah that was good enough <laughs> <laughs> I almost put his girlfriend's car in the ditch I'm good. <laughs> um, I was going to ask you guys did you guys ever see the pictures of the aliens that they posted in like the Mexican Congress Yes, thing. that like small one. Yeah, the little ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah we saw like them. dried up. Those like dried up Play-Doh. You think that's real? I don't know, man. Look at this. I don't. I'm not sure. Shoot, there I you don't go. Think so. You don't think it's real, Yvonne? No. I mean, oh, I don't, there. There. don't play. Uh, well, yeah, you can play the video. Don't play the sound. Yeah. Look at this, dude. You don't think that's real, dude? That looks. Well, that's. 
why would they be so small when every other like artifact we found were like was bigger? You know what I mean? Well, you do know Bob Lazar said that the cockpit is only like three foot in the in the UFO. You know about Bob Lazar, right? No. What? So Bob Lazar is the guy that worked at Area 51 or S4, which is at Area 51. It's like a branch of it. And where he worked, there was they had nine. I, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but they had nine UFOs, you know, unidentified flying objects or whatever. And he said, you know, they were trying to reverse engineer the thrusters or the gravitational, the gravitational, whatever he called it. It was like a huge science word that I don't know. But it's just an interesting story because I I like hearing stuff like that. But uh, he said, you know, he got to get in one of the UFOs, you know, for, I guess, scientific reasons. He got in there to, you know, obviously study it. And he said that the, the cockpit's like three foot tall. It's like, you were, if it were you were a regular human, you had to like sit down uh-huh. inside of it. But they were able, to like, they figured out how to like fly them and, and stuff like that. And they were doing like test flights out in Nevada. And he like took a bunch of people out there to like watch them. And they were out there like every Wednesday at so and so o'clock because he knew the flight times or whatever. And uh, so he had to like show people, you know, that this like stuff is like real. And so, because he thought the government was going to, you know, off him or whatever. So he had to, like, find a reason. He had to throw it all out there, and he did it for his own protection, which is, you know, kind of, I don't know. But the the way he done it is, like, so ever since, that was back, you know, in, in like, the 60s, I think. But from the 60s to now, he's had the same consistent story. It's never changed. And the stuff that he worked on has come out to light today. Like every every time, like all the time, stuff, everything in his story, like stuff has come true. So like they were working on Element 50, uh, 115, which is now just recently, not recently, but it was like three or four years ago, it got put on the periodic tables, Element 115. And he said back in the 60s or whenever it was that he was working on studying Element 115. So it's that's why I said it was, that's pretty crazy. Like his story has stayed the same and then like, you know, you'll see stuff come out that like coincides with his story. And it like makes it more real. And it's like, oh, maybe he was telling the truth. Yeah. So you, you you gotta look into it, Ebon. It's very interesting. If you like alien stuff, like kinda like I do, you have to look into it and check it out. So just for fact's sake, this says that in the nineteen eighties is when he reverse engineered the extraterrestrial technology. Yes. Nineteen eighties, my bad. It says in nineteen ninety he was convicted for involvement in a prostitution ring. Mm -hmm. so do you think that was like think that was like a setup I don't know I don't remember behind bars for some reason to to get him to quit talking I don't know I'm not sure if uh, you know what I mean I don't know I don't know that I didn't even know that I know that they tried to mess with his background and like they tried to erase his life so there's like a lot of instances, a lot of instances where I can't talk, uh, where they like wiped his, you know, stuff clean from like his school. Like he wiped it, you know, they wiped his education. They made it seem like he didn't go to school, but they went to that place and everybody, like the professors and stuff, they all remember Bob Lazar and that he went there and stuff like that. And it was like little stuff that they had, you know, trying to wipe from his life he says he's been harassed he's been raided like you know sw- not necessarily swatted i guess that's where they come in and they just like you know look for stuff and like even not like, get his job now he like runs a lab or something like that 
they've came in there and like raided his lab because they think he's got like element 115 or something like they took he took it with him or something like that i was trying to see if i could figure out what 115 was i don't remember what it was i just remember hearing the story i'm i like i like those kind of kind of stories what do you think about alien abductions ebon uh, you think, I don't know. Do you think they're real? Mm, yeah, maybe. You think so? I mean, like when I was a kid, I I did ass thought I seen one before. So, like an alien abduction or, did, or an a, alien? Like an alien, like an alien spaceship, like with a beam coming down. On. I'm dead ass. Really? Yeah, but. Also, like I said, I was a child, so. So I've all, I've heard this theory that alien abductions are is is this is a theory that it's a memory that gets unlocked for some reason in your brain, and you remember your birth, and that's what. The alien abduction is. Huh. Because you... Being able to remember your birth. Yeah, so... Like, when you remember your birth, you know, you... The first thing you see is, like, the doctor with, with the mask and stuff on. So they... You're you're all... You know, because you're, you're seeing for the first... Well, I don't know if you see for the first time when you're born or not. Is that a thing? I think I it's like... Uh, I don't think so. I think it takes a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a little bit. Well, I've I heard the theory, so that that may just kill that theory. But I heard a theory like you remember your birth, and that's you're what just, the you're just not unlocked yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've never been abducted. <laughs> but I used to listen to uh, I used to listen to Aliens Like Us. It's like a little podcast. It was, it was back a long time ago. Um, but they were hilarious, and but they had real people on that, you know, think they've been abducted or seen aliens and stuff like that. And they had some wild stories, man. I used to love listening to that kind of stuff because they they was nuts. Like you would, the people like walking in the woods and, you know, Sasquatch. No, my dad had a story like that though. This is this is real. This is one hundred percent real. Um. I'm not obsessed with Bigfoot or anything, but I do like me and Rocky is talking. We want to make a movie, a documentary about it. And it's been in the works for like two years, something like that. But my dad was walking through the woods when we were, when he was hunting one time and, uh, his cell phone died. Cause back then nobody cared about cell phones, cared about keeping them charged or whatever. The cell phone died and he was walking through the woods and, or he was on a four wheeler. That's what it was. He was hunting, got to his four wheeler because the cell phone died. And then on his way back, his four wheeler died, like died or run out of gas. So he had to walk the rest of the way. And as he was walking, he could hear something walking behind him. You ever get that feeling like you'll hear something behind you? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he said he he was <clears throat> he was like walking through the woods. His was like pitch black, and he come up on the power lines. You know. Like, you know how they'll cut, like, trails out for power lines to put those big things up? Yeah. So they were walking through, or he was walking through, found the power lines, and he was just going to follow it to a road. And he could feel something behind him. So, he, like, he would, like, walk faster and faster and faster. And eventually he started running. And he got so scared that he jumped on one of the the big towers, the power lines, and climbed it. And he said when he was up there, whatever was chasing him, like ran under it and kept kept chasing him, but kept running like he was chasing him. <laughs> he he watched it like run under. He you know he couldn't tell what it was, but he said he it runs straight under and he he sat there till daylight. Yeah. I, I was like, dang, and he like he never he never spoke about it after that. He was like that that was it. That's all he gave me. <laughs> I was like that is that's nuts, man. Yeah, I, I imagine you know he didn't want to have anything else to do with whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be scared in that situation? 
Well, I mean, like, I don't know. I've never seen it, you know, the, the Bigfoot, apparently. Mm. Um, you know, I hate to be, like, all this hype about it, and then you are out in the woods, and then you turn around, and he's, like, three foot tall. Sup, dog. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what's up, bro? <laughs> oh, you are real! <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> Just ends you. Right? Yeah, yeah, you just thought back. I was fake, yeah. <laughs> you wake up, seeing your own birth. <laughs> <laughs> you reincarnate. Uh, that's how you get That's here. it. I think you're on to something. You reincarnate as a Bigfoot, and they're like, gotcha. Gotcha. Like, why am I so short? Or a T-Rex. God, it would suck to be a T-Rex, wouldn't it? Oh, dude, yeah. Oh. Well, I, I mean, He's walking around this like, day and time, you'd never ah! be born, right? No! Ah! What are you doing? I'm trying to I'm trying to scratch my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it. You gotta go, like, drag them on a log or something, you know? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just imagined that, dude. What the crap? Oh, it's not a good time, you know? Not a good time. I could imagine. A T-Rex called Ebon just scratching his nuts on a log. T-Bon. <laughs> do you think uh do you think it's uh, dinosaurs were bird descendants? Or descendants of birds, or birds are descendants of a t- uh, of a T Rex. Well, no, I was but... just watching. Um, what was it called? There's a new thing. It's on like John. We lost it. I'm back. There's a new series on one of the streaming platforms. It's about like the evolution of life and everything. Yeah. And you know, it all starts from like. You say it's germs or something like that. It all starts from like bacteria. Bacteria, yeah. It all starts from like bacteria, and then those over like billions of years evolved into creatures, and they slowly got bigger. And then it was like fish, and then something happened and like insects, wiped everything out, and, and insects, and then all those got wiped out. And then it was like birds, and all those got wiped out. There's been like five extinctions, like mass extinctions in the planet. How did they? Do- is it? I, I, it has to be like you know, above my comprehension level. But how do you think they determine that kind of stuff? Well, they just make it up. I'm <laughs> you, they got they you got convinced by the aliens. <laughs> I'm on your side, Yvonne. <laughs> I think they're just putting it in history books for some for some shock content. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he opens a history book and it's like nothing. <laughs> About the money. I, it, I open it up and they're like, you know, we can fix this. Like, what do you yeah, we can, They're like, what are you talking about, about, Fred? You ever heard of a T Rex? Fred, that's stupid. Is it? Is it? <laughs> he said, what would it even look like? He's like, like, I got a, like a dog on its back legs. It's got really small front legs, you know? <laughs> they're like, that doesn't even make it, sense. They'll fucking believe real, it. <laughs> it's real leathery, like a snake. A <laughs> hundred years have passed. We'll say it's got feathers. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they did. They learned, they learned how to fly to evolve to eat the bugs in the air. Are you saying birds can be the descendants of a T Rex? That's what I'm saying, Fred. You, you open your head up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that said, is. Where did we? Then where did we come from? He's like monkeys. We all <laughs> came from monkeys. He said, well, how did the monkeys get there? He said, the birds were just. <laughs> <came a monkey. laughs> God, just up there sky fucking. They give birth to a monkey that fell from the sky. <laughs> it's like an airdrop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of them hit the water and survived. Now we, you know, we have humans. Yeah, now look, <laughs> created a will. That would be that would be did you hear about them dumping bones like Willie Mammoth bones in the I think it was Manhattan River or something like that? No. You didn't no. hear about that? It was they no. they said it on Joe Rogan. I listened to the podcast. There was like people diving down and getting the prehistoric bones because they were throwing prehistoric I'm bones not- into the into the the bay. Which Can is crazy. Yeah, something to do with um, uh, something to do with uh, what do you call it? Like the museum, they were like overstocked or with with bones and stuff like that, but they were throwing them into the bay, like 
the river what? bay. Yeah, it was it was it was the craziest thing I ever heard. But they they talked about it on like Joe Rogan, and there was guys like diving down in there to get like see if the bones were in there, and they found them. They found a bunch of them. You know, I kind of find that hard to believe, but then also it's like people are stupid enough. I kind of believe that. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, it too could be much, too many pieces of history. Let's throw them in the water. Yeah, they needed we'll save, to make we'll save them for the next group. I can't remember. Look, look that up for me. Um, Rocky, Jamie, pull that up. Jamie, pull that up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> because I, th- I think that's a real thing. Mammoth bones found in East River. A, I, I thought so. Does it give you like a description of why? It just says they found a jawbone of a bison descendant that went extinct 10,000 years ago. American history, the uh, American Museum of Natural History dumped artifacts in the water during the 1940s. Oh, I thought it was recent. No. Maybe they recently found it. That may have been. Dumped. The article was published February 27th of 2023. So that yeah. would be the beginning of the year. Yeah, that's when I heard it. It had to have been. So they were dumped during the 1940s from the American Museum of Natural History. That's crazy. Maybe they just well back then, you know, our frontal lobes wasn't fully. Yeah, we hadn't formed. even been the, we haven't even been to the moon yet. You know, we were nowhere <laughs> in technology. Yeah, so they were like, you know, nobody will ever find these. Yeah, they're just <laughs> drinking rum and throwing artifacts. They said out. their cigars. They said, oh, "There's too many bones. The museum's full. Let's throw them in the river." <laughs> yes. Yeah, what, what are they gonna do? He said, no man can swim that far down without a breath. <laughs> They'll never find him. <laughs> but Jimmy, it's it's history. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he said, look how many we have. We've got, We've got too many. We either yes. make a building bigger with more money or throw old stuff away and get new stuff with zero <laughs> money. <laughs> I like how you got changed Texas. <laughs> <laughs> He went from like old timey nineteen forty yeah to an Irish guy. <laughs> Connor McGregor. <laughs> He's walking around in prehistoric times. He said, Who the fuck are these bones? <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling T Rexes. You can imagine. Dude, have you seen the little clips on YouTube where it's like they added in like some kind of video where a woman falls, but it's like John Cena runs up and like hard <laughs> Yeah. It's like Randy Orton, and they got Conor McGregor in there. <laughs> yes. God, it was so funny. Different times on YouTube. Different times. Which is a good segue to Lethal Company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, that was good, se- good, uh, good segue there. Yeah. A good transition. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it was a little rocky. It was, it was but, a little yeah. rocky. I wanted yeah. it to be a little rocky. I didn't know it was mine. My kids are trying to put a hole in the floor. Why don't you let him? Do it. <laughs> he actually oh, puts all on the floor. <laughs> little Rocky. Little Rocky. Looks like little, little Tinley. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ebon. It's a lethal company. What you think? You are an expert at this, so you tell us about it. What do you mean? It, it, it's a fun game. It is the best game. It oh, is yeah. pretty fun. And it, it is 100% one of the best games I've probably played in 2023. Oh, yeah. And it's $10. And it's, probably, and it's not even that big. Yeah. Right. It's, like, it's uh, like 800 megabytes, correct? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the that. the regular game is under a gigabyte. I don't know what it is with the mod because we already had the game when we put the mod on it. Anyway, we modded the game so we could hold... It's called More Company. So we could hold more people, like 40 players or something like that. I think that's correct. Um, yeah, it allows you to put a bunch more people in there. And that was so fun. It puts a whole different perspective on it. I don't know if oh, you yeah. guys do this, but I watch everyone 
and it is like a movie. Because I'll go from like Richard to Rocky to Ebon, and it's different perspectives all in like, I would watch Lethal the Comp If I could just die and then watch all of you guys, it is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my, <laughs> it is like a legit TV show. Because I'm going from different characters or different guy players. And like two players will be over here trying to get into a building and they're facing some kind of something. Ebon's creeping through the woods because there's a dog chasing. Ebon watches somebody die. And he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> he's like crouched down beside a tree. And then you got Rocky and Richard were at the building. And they both went in, and Rocky turned around and immediately come out, and Richard's just standing there because he really doesn't know how to play the game. And that two-legged monster was, like, just headed toward him, and his mouth opened. I've got this on video, dude. It's hilarious. But his mouth opens, and Richard, like, barely gets out. Barely gets out of the building. And he was like, whoo! <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> and Richard... I don't think Richard gets scared all he doesn't play these kind of games. But it's, you know, it's one of the best games that's come out in 2023. So it's something you got to play, I guess. But he come out and he said, whew, that was close. (laughs) 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 I could literally feel him sweating. (laughs) Like, that's how bad it was. was did Did you see when, like, those things, I was crouched down and, like, the thing that can't see come around and it was walking towards me. And it like lunged and I took off and like sprinted and I guess I like missed its attack by a little bit and I'm just like <laughs> it was as quick as I could. Because it like <laughs> slides, like, don't it? It yeah. just yeah, that's what I thought. It just like slides when you do that. I've never been able to dodge y'all say it's so easy to dodge some things. I've never been able to do it. Oh, I got uh, lucky. I was like creeping by just <laughs> and the thing just like looked at me and was like <laughs> it got me. I was like, damn, dude, I did exactly what these motherfuckers said. And I think I died. <laughs> me and Ebon were playing, and he was like crouched down underneath like a tower thing, kind of between four legs. It had like a little wall around it. Yeah. And he told me before, he was like, those things, they can hear your mic when you talk. So I was like, okay. So like I came out, and he was like, crouch. So like I crouched down, then I watched it just like, just grab him. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Sacrifice himself for me. <laughs> I watched uh, Ebon go and grab the the yellow jug. He made a last like last trip. You guys like went around in circles because you was on your way back. He thought you died, so he was like, "I'll just go get the yellow jug and bring it back to the ship, so we have enough money." He didn't know you was still alive. You made it back to the ship. Ebon went and got the yellow jug. And then he comes back and he's like under the ship. And he's like telling you, he's like, start the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where he was. I was like, where are you? He was like, start the fucking ship. <laughs> oh my God. It's so funny. That is golden. I love that game. I'm I bet sh- it was fun watching that. Like, oh, yeah. You see both of us like see this creature for the first time. And we're both like, what is that dude it is it is it is a fun way to spect when you spectate people it is so fun like even though you died it is so fun because you guys only see like first person right and it puts the spectator in third person so like when you guys are creeping through a hallway you don't know what's behind you and i can see what's behind you and i'm like <gasps> and it's like something's creeping up behind Ebon and he doesn't even know it and it grabs him and takes off and then it, and then it automatically goes to you because Ebon's dead so it automatically goes to you and then you start chasing whatever's taking Ebon you know so it's just the craziest craziest way to watch Lethal Company is when you're spectating people it's so funny 10 out of 10 can we do a gameplay and like have everybody's perspectives what do you mean i guess it'd be i guess it'd be like an edit you know you'd have to like have everybody screen record then send you all of the video and then you'd have to like chop it all together never mind that'd be like a nightmare for you 
Yeah, I think it would be a bit of a... It would definitely be an edit. Holy crap, that would be crazy. You'd have to take three people's live streams or recordings yeah. and like clip them all together at the same time. I've been streaming on uh, on um, TikTok. I don't know if you noticed that, but I've got a I've got to stream like more like because I lose my access to live if I don't stream. Yeah. So I've I've got to stream like twenty five more. I think it's twenty five more minutes or something like that. Well, well, we could do that. Yeah. Could do that yeah. I gotta I've got a stream tonight <clears> on it. <throat> and then if I if if I do, I keep my access for like I think it's a hundred and eighty more days or something like that. Let me look. I didn't know that there was like that many technicals to live stream and unpick up. Yeah, because you know, it's not like a normal thing to to uh let's see here. People live stream everything on there. Like, there's women that like live stream while they just sit there and put on makeup, mm -hmm. and then when they're done, they'll just like clean it all off and start over. I'm like, it says 180 day access requirements when you only have the seven day trial, which I did already. Uh, go live, yeah, go live studio at least two times. Each live must be 25 minutes long. And then to get access to another 180 days, go live for two, go live two times in the past 30 days. Each live needs to be at least 25 minutes long. So I need to do one more live to keep my hundred. To I get it? So to get it, a hundred, another 180 days. TikTok has been one of the biggest. Um, how would I say it, Rocky? Uh engaging streams that I've had before. Yeah. Because it just gets so many eyes. Um so I think it would be beneficial to do that and just and still live stream on live stream on TikTok, yeah, but uh because it has been a good stream, but it hasn't been the biggest revenue. I have small numbers on YouTube, but I do have more revenue from live streaming on on YouTube than TikTok because TikTok only pays like, you know, I made eight cents my last live. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Big, big bucks. Big bucks, baby. They're rolling in. I need to do more. I need to do more like shorts and, and stuff like that. If you guys, if you guys do watch, and this goes for like the audience too, if you guys find a timestamp that you want clipped and it's under a minute, throw it in the comments. You know, you know, send it direct message or whatever, and I can go to that timestamp, clip it, and then we can make those shorts or you know short videos and post it everywhere. So if you guys got like something like that, let me know and we can do that. I want people to leave comments too. Like, leave us some comments that we can answer. You know. Yeah, yeah, we would questions. we would love to use comments on you know here, so the viewer comment something and I would be able to, you know, we'd be able to answer that live on the air. Wouldn't that be cool? Right. People can comment in and tell Sean how he's wrong about something. That way, we can let him know on the <laughs> podcast live. Live, just embarrass him. <laughs> but that's me. He said, "Wait a minute." On a, on another note, uh, as most of you guys know, I've been producing a, a podcast uh, for my boss that I currently work for. Uh, it is about to hit 10,000 subscribers, which is crazy. I've listened, to, I've listened to every episode of that, too. Yeah, I just uploaded the seventh episode on Spotify. I have to get on that. Let me look and see what we're at right now. Because it was 900, 9,900, yeah, 9,900 subscribers. So. You, should, you should probably say the name of it so other people know what it is. Yep. 
It's not working. Yep. <laughs> um, the name of the podcast that I do produce is Yoder's. It's Yoder's Talk, but the YouTube channel is called Yoder's. So if you guys want to show them some love, you can run on over there and check them out. Um, I'm their producer, and so I just do cool stuff. And yeah, they're almost 10,000 subscribers. They've only got eight videos, seven videos up. Number eight we just filmed yesterday. It's nuts, ain't it? Yeah. I've been doing this for three years. I have 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm watching my dream come through, come true through another podcast, for, through another YouTube channel. What, what's that term? You gotta, you gotta live by curiously through them. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> nah, they're good to me. They're really good to me. And they're, uh, yeah, they're good people. Yeah, so they deserve it. They're cool people. Ebon just started a uh, a YouTube channel. Yeah, I haven't even uh, posted a video yet. You yeah, going? Shout it out. Yeah. You, uh, it, e, what's the name of it? It's Ebon Musk. Ebon Musk. I'll put a link but in like the I description. Can, I was going to say, I can't even find it because it's... You don't have any videos on there? Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you start getting videos on there, you'll be able to like find it and stuff. And I can help you with that kind of stuff too. It obviously, worked, even... it obviously worked for Yoder's. Uh well last night I kind of fell asleep like real early so yeah, <laughs> yeah I was I was you know, sitting in here I was sitting in Discord by myself got on uh dude it was sad bro I was sitting in here on <laughs> voice channel just I was like oh get on everybody get on no yeah, big deal he said wait a minute he said ten thirty he said yeah in a minute they'll be on <laughs> so they're about ten, twenty minutes so I was like ah, just ten more minutes it should be on everybody gets on a little late you know. So yeah. sleeping in, everybody yeah, sleeps right. in. No, it can't be. You can't. You know, don't judge a book by a cover. We can get on, have a good game. You know what I'm saying? I've only been on here for 20 minutes. <laughs> so I sit so around. I can't, I can't leave them now. You know. Yeah. I sit around for 20 minutes. I was, like, I was <laughs> down to play games last night. I just I laid in bed and I just passed out. I I even had my headset on. <laughs> 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 I did kind of the same thing. I helped a friend uh, tow a car back to his house, and then whenever I got home, I was just I was pooped. Yeah, I was sitting in Discord and just like, all right. I know they see me in Discord, and they just let me sit there. They just let me sit there, bro. It was the most ridiculous yeah. thing ever. I should have messed with you. I should have been like, dude. As soon as I got on, like no one was in here. <laughs> <laughs> like, just right after you left, <laughs> I, I jumped on. Uh, I jumped on uh, Warzone to or uh, Call of Duty, and I seen Nick was on. I was like, "Huh, he's not in Discord." So I joined his party, and he was in there with a bunch of console players. Ugh. Oh no! Oh. Yeah, console in, people. Yeah, he's in there with them. The open micing it, bro, on a on a Wednesday. What the? <laughs> bro, God! Nobody's heard of Discord. And you remember the Warzone games we played with, like the open mic kids? When it sounds like they've got you know an Apache helicopter next to their microphone. <laughs> That's what. Oh man, forgive me, but we played with a guy named Tony, and his microphone is broken, so he's using his TV. Bless his heart. <laughs> I, he he yells too. He's a yeller. He's a is yeller. That, is that the guy that we that we met that night? I don't know. Ebana, have you played with him? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. Because I'm I'm pretty sure I was on that night, and that's the same guy. Nick Nick plays with him. But man, he he will rage. He will. And then I was playing my soundboard, you know, because we have that sound pad or whatever. Yeah, and I was playing my sound pad like through the through the microphone. It would come through his TV. So <laughs> I was like, I would be like skill issue, and it would be like skill issue <laughs> like, through the TV. I was like, God, 
<laughs> it makes me want to freaking leave, bro. What are you doing? Yeah, Lee. It's funny. He he's he's cool. He just uh he's got to get a new like headset. He like broke his headset or something, so he's having yeah. to use his TV. There's that rage in him. <laughs> yeah, I want to got, got that dog in him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. And then it's even worse, like when I play the Titanic song, you know, when they when we lose or something, I'll play like the Titanic song that the it's like the flute or whatever. It's like Doo-doo! and it comes through the TV. <laughs> it's it was <laughs> funniest funniest thing ever. So funny. I remember the one kid like I don't know if he was like talking to his mom or what it was, but he had like the Apache helicopter going on. There was like dogs barking. <laughs> you can't hear it. you can't hear anybody running around the map, and you were just like mute your mic. <laughs> I hate it too. It's like just mute your mic. Everyone hates it, and there's one dude that'll stand out and be like, "Hey, bro, you're a literal piece of shit." <laughs> And then, like, that guy is like, suck my ass! And he, like, leaves his mic on. Well, like, it interferes with the game because part of the game is, like, hearing people run around or hearing gunshots and stuff like that, and you can't hear that when that kind of stuff's going on. Yeah, it's, like, it's... I don't know what goes through people's heads. They don't hear it because it's their own mic. So, like, they don't hear their own mic in their own game. Yeah. But anybody else in the party... That's all they hear is that mic. Yeah, they're about to peel their eyeballs out of their heads or something. <laughs> That's the worst thing ever. Yeah, and, like a PlayStation 5 controller. Like, that is terrible. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. The people plugging in their thing to their PlayStation 5 controller, and it's the worst. Mm-hmm. Is that a thing? Like, yeah, using the, their play, use it as a mic or something? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. it is the absolute worst. I didn't even know that was a thing. I know that, like, <laughs> controllers have the little the stuff in the bottom. Yeah, use, that's, what we're, yeah. Do, that's what we're talking about. Can, but, no, you can use it as a mic. Like, the... Hold on. The voices come out of the microphone, or the controller. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know that. I haven't like, had a play can, in a long time. You can Bless. speak through the controller. Bless your virgin ears that you haven't heard that because it is the worst. No, I don't want to taste it. <laughs> he sticks it up your nose. <laughs> He's like, taste it, clunk. <laughs> taste it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, didn't know. I, I had a, uh, a PS1 and a PS2. I didn't have any PlayStations after that. So. Yeah, it's, after that. it's so bad. And. I have to mute. And that that's like a thing, too, because communication is key when it comes to that game. Right. You have to talk to people, you know? And when I have to mute you and then can't get direction or give direction to you, that's the worst. Yeah. Because oh, then you're just yeah. running around the map with, like, no brain. Yeah. Well, Call of Duty gets boring, but, like, when you're nobody's talking. Yeah. It's a si- when it's silent. But also, like, also, you don't want that echo. Yeah, because it's the worst. Yeah. I don't know how people do it. Or even, like, leaving a fan blowing on their mic. Who used to do that? Somebody in our party used to do that. I can't remember who it was. I don't remember who it was. I don't know. I know one day you had a problem. You could hear my PC running because my my snowball is right here and Right. Yeah, that's right. I thought I didn't know you was using a snowball. I thought you was using your headset mic. No. And I was like, is he like leaning against his PC while we're playing <laughs> games, bro? He's just like laying his head against it and he's just like mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, dude, this is the nuttiest thing I've ever been a part of. <laughs> it's it's comfier than the chair. You wouldn't believe it, but it is. Yeah. But yeah. And we're trying to convince Rocky that he needs sim rig. Oh yeah, just build one. Yeah, Throw just build one. You see my gaming there. There's a giant china cabinet behind me. Ain't Where no way. Ain't Yo, just no play. way. You can't put one in there, bro. Look at the space that I'm in. Look, look at this. 
I don't even have six foot between this monitor and this wall behind me. Just buy the foldable one. You got plenty uh, of room. Yeah, just buy the foldable so. one. I yeah, think so. You yeah, you no, do one hundred percent. Or you can literally that. you can buy the one that like locks your uh chair into place. Yeah. It's a stand, it's like fifty fifty bucks. The foldable one that I looked at was really low, so I feel like I'd be sitting like down here, you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> playing my racing game, you know. But. <laughs> That's why I built mine. Yeah, I built I built mine a long time ago out of wood. We got the idea because I'm a part of this DIY sim rig building thing on Facebook. And that's where I got the idea from. And. <laughs> Josh, bless his heart. He's he's. I draw, bro. I could draw you out of a whole sketch, bro. <laughs> I was like, let's do it. So we, you know, scratched up some drawings. We didn't, didn't look nothing like the drawings when we got done. <laughs> but it was yeah, cool. Went to school for like you know engineering, and he's <laughs> like, I've never got to use it. He's like, I'll build you a sim rig. And a <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's crooked. It's got ratchet straps on it. <laughs> it's, but the concept was, you know, there. And we seen the vision, but we stumbled down the stairs when we were building it. I mean, it looks good in a way. <laughs> and it works. Cool it's functional. That's the that's the big thing, is it's functional. So yeah. And it's holding a twenty four this is made me sick. It's holding a twenty four hundred dollar uh my camera went off. It's holding a twenty-four hundred dollars sim rig to it. John, your your camera went off. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, sim rigs where it's at. Rock, you need one in, in a major way. I'll get there. Huh? I said I'll get there. One day. One day. Tomorrow. Uh, the end of the week. Huh? Just, huh? Just find one on Facebook. Yeah. Look, that's what Sean told me. I, you, I found mine and a sim, like the whole, I got a seat with it, e-brake, and, well, not an e-brake, a shifter, because you have to buy the shifter separately. <clears throat> and that's like 60 bucks. Maybe not anymore, but. I, 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 I think Rocky's house is on fire. No. It's on fire. It's, it sure is, it's just like smoke. It's a teapot. It's a what? Huh? Teapot. Say it again? Teapot? Are you saying teapot? Yeah, teapot. You know what a teapot is? Oh. Did you see that? I didn't see that. It's a ghost. That joke sucked. Yeah. It didn't <laughs> <very well. laughs> uh, a teapot? That was the best you could come up with? Yeah. Nobody uses teapots anymore. He said, what is this, back to the 1940s we were talking about? <laughs> Nobody uses teapots. Nobody understand that joke. Dumb joke, yeah, Rocky. Uh, Dumb joke. Uh, I thought you were talking about the ghost joke. No. The teapot joke. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, I think it would change your life, Rocky, if you got a sim rig. 100%. Whenever you get one, you'll like it. Me and you were looking on Marketplace, and we just couldn't find a good deal. Yeah. You can get them like two, two fifty, three hundred bucks with a yeah. full... I don't know why people are doing that. I guess because they... I don't know. They just think they can't get like what they paid for it. Or something? No, 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 that's all they're worth. That's all they're worth. All they're worth. <laughs> but yeah, it's the because you pay two fifty three hundred bucks for the just the setup, and then you have to pay an extra hundred or so, sometimes more, for the this the rig itself to set the sim on. So I don't know. Yeah. People are wild selling that stuff for that cheap. Well, I found yeah. the one that was like the seat. It was an e-brake, a shifter, the steering wheel, the pedals, everything. And I think that guy wanted like three or three fifty. But then I think it was was three. he was Fine. he was far away. I was gonna say I got mine for three hundred, and it came with a 
passenger seat of a car, like I said, the shifter and the yeah. steering wheel and the pedals. Sean, plus, have you done plus the actual like setup? It, there used to be it used to be a smaller setup, but I broke it when I was taking it down the stairs. Snap John, it right have, in half. <laughs> have you done the VR with the sim rig yet? Yeah, yeah. Me and me and Abon have. I want to watch that. I bet that's awesome. It is. It's it's nice. Actually, you, you scratch. You really feel like you you feel like you're moving in the car. Yeah. So like, you know, drifting obviously. When you're drifting or whatever, you pull your e-brake and the car goes sideways. Your body will try to go with the car, but you're not in a real car. But your body is like its instinct is to like brace, you know. Yeah. So your body tries to brace itself. Like, and it's it's a crazy feeling, but it is it'll make you it'll either make you sick or you'll be like, oh, okay, I'm good, <laughs> and then you'll just keep going. <laughs> did you see the? Did you watch the video that I sent you the other day, where the dude he's in a setto and he like he's got the VR on and he like sets his radio station yeah. and it's like yeah. <laughs> he's like he's like drifting or not drifting but driving through the traffic. That's yeah. what that's where we did the VR was we was driving through traffic, um, at that not the not time traffic thing. That's yeah. the only time I can like do VR is there. I try to drift the VR and I just I'm not good at it. I thought I was, but it's it ain't it, bro. I can't do it. <laughs> but driving like, but like normal, yeah, it it does. But normal driving, it's fun. And then you see like your whole body in there too. What's really weird is when you like you reach up for the shifter and to grab it or whatever, but like your guy's not doing it, but you think of yourself as the guy in the car. So the guy's just holding on to the steering wheel. But your arm is down here, so it's like weird feeling. Huh. It it, it like it messes with your head, so you just have to like not think about it. Or something like that. I think it- I think I would just go for like auto mode and kind of just sink into it. You know? Yeah, just <laughs> yeah, just keep your arms mm-hmm. on the wheels. I think uh, scratch the sim rig. Get that. Yes, one day a VR is what you need. Yeah, they're going for like one hundred and fifty. Yeah, yeah. A VR VR Quest Two. If you get one, get a uh, a Meta Quest Two. That's what you just need. Try. Try to get the one with the most gigabytes. I mean, the 64 one's all right. But, like I said, you're going to have a lot more games on there. Yeah. we have the. I have the 128. I don't know what Ebon has. So, how do you guys play, like, a set of on that? Do you have to uh, actually put the game onto the headset itself? Steam no. VR. Yeah, you do Steam mm-hmm. VR, and you plug it to your computer. And you actually yeah. have your own home in Steam yeah. VR. Like your games, like if, if you get in Steam VR, and you're you get in Steam VR or whatever, you're in like a little cabin thing, and all yeah. of your games are like displayed on a shelf. So you just walk up and press like a set of Corsa or something like that. What? Yeah, pretty cool. Do you have to use the the hand things while you're driving, or do you oh. just no. leave those on the side? You leave those on the side because the game, I guess, the game will read from the steering wheel input, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just like looking around the car. And stuff like that, and it'll make oh. you it'll make you sick too. It's like we, you know, how we'd crash and like flip and stuff like that. Yeah, it'll make you like, oh man, it'll make you sick because you're, <laughs> you're like, actually like, Ooh. yeah, it feels like you're just like you know falling around or whatever. Ugh, I got to try out Beam and VR. I haven't tried it out yet. Me either. Yeah, I think that would be sick. Next time I come up there, I need to like try yours. Just yeah. to make sure it's not gonna like make me sick. <laughs> yeah, oh, it definitely it, will. It, you have to like get used to it. I I'm bought like, really... huh? I bought like a mine like messed with my head and like pushed my like my head down or whatever. So I bought like a full rig for mine, and like I'll show you real quick. I'm not really like a motion sickness person, so. Well, that's what I thought until it's just so close to your face. Yeah. If that's the case. Yeah, see, his bumps it out a little bit. 
What's that? That's like a better head. head. Yeah. You like, your head goes yeah. here, and then the VR just comes down. Oh. And then you can it. like lift the VR up and down without having to take it off your head. Got you. Does that have the battery pack on it too? Yep. Yeah. The battery pack hooks up into here. So I could play, in theory, I could play a, you know, pretty good while. I don't know exactly how long, but... I think it's like four hours. Yeah, something, something like that compared to the, like the one hour you can play without, without hooking it up to your computer. I think that's so, about... So what you're saying is that if I get a VR headset, we're going to do a podcast episode in like a VR world? We can. Could. Yeah, we can. Because the way you can put your computer screens in, in, v- in, yeah, in yeah, yeah, in VR, you can have your whole setup in front of you. Did you imagine just like a VR world, just some guys sitting on a couch <laughs> talking for a couple hours? We need to do it. It'd be so fun, dude. If we could figure dude. out how to do that, that would be sweet, dude. I think you can like. Well, you remember that game we played? It was like that metaverse or whatever. Hop in there. Yeah. Or like, or something like maybe mm-hmm. there's another option where whenever I come into your house or whatever, you can maybe display stuff or like display a couch or something. Yeah. I don't know. There's got to be. There's got to be a way to do it though. Is that? Uh, I haven't seen anybody else do that, so we could be the first ones. Yeah, we could just be a a podcast on VR. Like every other episode, we do a VR podcast. <laughs> that would be the, one, the once a month VR podcast special. Yeah, dude, you gonna have to get a VR now. <laughs> Cody's got one. Uh, me, me, Ebon, Cody, <clears throat> Richard. For sure, I'll have one that we play. Cody bought the same setup I did with the head thing because he's, I think he's done with PC games. Yeah. I think so. Because he are just. Gonna, are you going to upgrade to the new one with like the cameras and stuff in the front of it? Eventually. eventually. Uh, the thing is 500 bucks. So, but eventually I will. I want it so bad. I'm like itching to have it, dude. Yeah. So, but one day I will. Because that thing is, the thing is awesome. Those are the ones that you can actually use. Like I think I saw a video of a guy like working on his car, and he yeah, had, you can drive your car. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I mean, you can, legal. you can. <laughs> it's probably not legal, but you can. Yeah, I don't yeah. know that we should. You know, <laughs> we here at Mellow Mates do not endorse anything <laughs> no. that was just said. <laughs> yeah, we don't endorse it, but hey. <laughs> I ain't going to, you know, don't knock it through you try it. You know what I'm that saying? That way we, we can't legally be held responsible and say, oh, well, you know, they told me to. There was a guy, like, working on his car, though. Yeah, and he, like, and he had, he like, had a, a YouTube, YouTube video of, yeah, of how to do it. Tutorial. <laughs> yeah. He had the tutorial, he had Discord up, and he had the forums. Because he was on the forums reading on how to do it, if you, if yeah. you noticed. And then he was, like, he was, like, looking at that and then, like, trying to fix his car. I think that is cool as crap. If you could like break that down into sunglasses, everybody it's over with. Those oh, are yeah. everybody's gonna be Iron Man. Hang on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hang on. Somebody I've I've seen a thing for that. There's I a s- thing. It's like it's glasses, but it's like VR sunglasses. I've seen that. I don't know who makes it. Show me right now. I gotta go grab a drink. All right. Hey, Ebon, go get you a drink, buddy. Yeah, Ebon, uh, grab me one more. Yeah. <laughs> this is a thing because I saw an ad for it. VR sunglasses. Yeah, it's like a thing you can plug them into like your phone, um, but it goes off like motion, like hand motion. So there's no hand controllers or anything. Yeah. But it's got like built-in speakers. So like it plays the the sound down into your ears, but it looks like a pair of sunglasses. Um, I have to find it. I seen a dude using a uh, Quest Three. He's like walking around the hotel room, or walking around a hotel, and he had 
a YouTube video playing and he was carrying it and he walked into an elevator. Like there was people there and he like walked into an elevator with the video playing and the VR headset on. I thought that was funny. People were just looking at him like, what the hell? But you know, in all seriousness, that could happen like, you know, in a few years, people just be walking around with VR headsets on. I know. And that's going to be crazy. It will. Think, it will be. think about like the cities, people just walking around. There's a bunch of them on their face. So look up the AR glasses, smart glasses. Share your screen. AR sunglasses are 400 bucks. Yeah, but they're like. So they're sunglasses, but see, they've got like the little lens in them. Yeah. And what do they do? It's supposed to be like whatever your phone. Can we play the video and not the sound? Yeah. Ah. I can't. I can't hear it. (laughs) Okay. So it's see. This is supposed to be like what he's seeing, I believe. But you can hook it up to like anything that shows a screen, like a phone, the switch, anything like that. And it uses like a little remote. Hey, you need to update your windows. (laughs) (laughs) Got him. See him in there? Yeah, that's weird. What's that? What's that W icon? That? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are supposed to be watching the video on this. <laughs> what you I'm hacking sorry. over, bro? <laughs> That's funny because I have it too. Mod? Yeah. That's what I was using for. Um, oh, that's cool. To get credits. It's easy. Yeah, <laughs> like you can. I feel like these are kind of slept on, you know, because I feel like this kind of does the same thing as. I'm wondering if it needs Wi Fi. Yeah, I, like, I think like, you can plug you... it into that little box and then. The, the box maybe connects to your phone or computer or whatever it is. Maybe like a Bluetooth type connection. Can you just like walk around and have... See, look at this guy. Laying yeah. on the floor, looking up in the in the air, playing his game. Yeah, yeah but he... Box. Yeah, he's got like the box on it and stuff. Is there like no... Is there like no way you can just like have sunglasses like Wi-Fi connected to your phone and... Well, I feel like you're asking a lot at that point. Might as well buy... You know, yeah. <laughs> green screen guys. <laughs> you might as well. Four hundred bucks. Yeah, you spend the five hundred bucks and get the Quest Three. You could do something on a. I don't. I don't know how long these have been out, so I don't know. Maybe these were out before. That's crazy. You with me? Yeah. But maybe they were out before the new. Oh Quest yeah, three. One hundred percent had to be. Look at the uh oh look at the uh reviews. I want to see like the ratings on them. Got a bunch of you got a bunch of one stars down there. First of all, I know this is I know what this is. It's a giant What does that say? Semi semi transparent 1080p monitor that appears in front of your face when the display is off. It's a weird pair of sunglasses. This guy's going off on him. He uses them as a um, hook to the steam duck. Steam duck? Deck. What'd you say about your deck? It's a tech deck. <laughs> steam tech deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think the quest, if you just spent couple more hundred bucks and get the quest three i think it would be beneficial to do that because then you have all of the benefits 
that the Quest 3 had, but you won't have to plug it into a like a little remote to plug into said game panel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's I guess there'd be like pros and cons for these versus the the Quest 3 because I mean, like these are a lot smaller. Um, it'd be a lot easier just to you know flip but, them up or something like that. I would think. You don't need you to. have you have to have them connected. Quest three, you just strap that bad boy straight to your head and walk around. I mean, the Quest three, yeah, you could just walk around and do whatever. These are more, I would assume, for like a sitting down, watching a movie or something. I mean, you can watch movies on the Quest three. Well, I'm not saying you can't. We were saying before that these, I'm pretty sure these had came out before the Quest threes. <laughs> Good. See if we got an Elden Ring thing at the bottom. Street Fighter, Cyberpunk, Mario Kart Deluxe. Yeah, you, you do all that in Quest Three too. <laughs> God, <here we> go. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! You can do everything in a Quest Three. I think the I think the the benefit of, of that is just their sunglasses, right? They're just like straight up sunglasses. Yeah, just sunglasses with like an inner lens. Yeah. So you wouldn't have that with the Quest 3. You would have to uh, bring the brightness down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just... Bring the world's brightness down a little bit. Yeah. And then there's your oh, sunglasses. Just, you just throw some tint on it. <clears throat> there you go. I want to say that I saw, an, I saw an ad. I don't know if it was real, but I saw an <clears throat> ad for something like that. It wasn't this exact hair, but it was right around the time that the Quest 3s came out. That's probably what it was, Quest 3. Yeah, probably. You, you was like, oh, man, this is some big-ass sunglasses. I don't know if I oh, can do man, that. These are big old sunglasses, huh? <laughs> 100% though, Rocky, I think you do. On a real level, I think you do need to get the Quest 3 at some point in time or come over and try mine out and realize that you've been you've been lied to about VRs your whole life and it's going to change your life and you're going to get a, a Quest 2 to play games yeah. of this. No one's lied to me about it. I just, you know, I'm not big in the VR community, you know? You need to get into that VR community. It's so fun. We get in VR chat, bro. Talk to some weird people. It's it's nuts. You have, like, fairies running around. It's, it's crazy. It gets wild. Wow. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> Get a quest three and or a quest two and you'll be playing uh you'll be playing games with us. It'd be fun. I don't even I don't even know what uh we got breachers and stuff like that. So we we'll have to play those. We'll have to play that. Breachers? Yeah, it's like uh Rainbow Six Siege but VR. Oh you can like repel down buildings and stuff. Pretty cool. I was not that good at Rainbow Six Siege. <clears throat> Wait till you get a hold of a VR. Dude, I think I downloaded that game and I went through like the 45 minutes of tutorials. Tutorials. You guys were like, you guys were like all right, we're never playing this again. Yeah. <laughs> so I just yeah. deleted it. <laughs> yeah, we haven't played it in a while. I noticed. The game sucked anyway. It was a stupid Ubisoft game. Stupid Ubisoft game, bro. Ain't that right, me, Bon? Yeah. I can't even get into my account. <laughs> That's why I hate Ubisoft. It's garbage. I have to make a new account every time. Dang. Me and I think Nick. the last one I had to make I had to make it under my wife's email because it wouldn't work under mine. <laughs> Me and Nick uh realized I made seventy five accounts. Like every time I bought a console I made an account, a Ubisoft account. Yeah. So it's believable. <laughs> believable. <laughs> it's believable. Well, we are rounding an end to this podcast. We have had so much fun. And we've jumped several different subjects, which I didn't think we would do, but we did. It was so cool. If you guys want to find us, uh, we are on YouTubes, obviously, and Spotify as of right now. Thank you, Rocky, for joining me once again for another great episode of Mellow Mates. Ebon, I appreciate you coming on. Yes, sir. Maybe you'll be on more often, and maybe next time you'll have a camera. Hey, I'm I'm 
getting there. He's getting there. He's 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 working on it. You will see Ebon, and obviously you'll see Rocky more in some upcoming gameplay that we've done and that we are going to do in the future. We will catch you guys at the next episode next week. This episode probably won't come out till Saturday, but we will get back on track of uploading these things on Friday. We had a little hiccup last week where I got too busy and I wasn't able to edit the video in time. But it is uh it was uploaded Wednesday. I'm gonna upload this one Saturday, which will be tomorrow or Saturday, yeah. And then we will be back next week on a regular schedule of uploading every Friday. Yep. But we'll see you guys Saturday. Thanks to everybody again. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. We're gonna go play the Abercrombie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah.